guy in box support and also guys like Pete Warner, like what, what are the challenges that you face as you face these guys that are very athletic at the first and second level? Yes, sir. Uh, it's definitely going to be an exciting physical game. I think that's going to be uh, one of the real big emphasis of this past, I mean, this upcoming game, uh, just the physicality, uh, the way they play. Uh, they come off the ball. The linebackers, they're coming downhill. They're crashing. And so uh, for myself, I'm just going in there with the mentality, you know, it's going to be a 60-minute fight uh, and just coming in and being prepared and uh, battling each uh, rep every play. And earlier in the year, you were talking about self-scouting and what you had to learn and grow from. What are some things that you are, now that you're halfway through the season, that you kind of get acclimated to in terms of technique and other things that come into play there? Um, just how fast the tempo is uh, each and every play. Um, the speed of the linebackers, obviously, uh, Everybody's pretty fast, everybody's pretty strong. So just understanding leverage, how I can help myself uh, be able to get to the backers and then be successful uh, to hold those blocks. Uh, defensive line, just feeling uh, the reps from one week and this past rush versus the next week, obviously, uh, everybody has a different rush pattern. So just understanding that and understanding that there's not too many moves that uh, different people can work. And so it's going to start becoming uh, more fluent for myself. And so for me, um, just understanding like, OK, well, uh, this pass rush is done by this player and then Maybe you may see the next person use the same moves, and the only thing is just the speed, how fast they can do it at that point. And so for myself, just uh, just getting experience. All right, thank you so much. Jim. Yes, sir. Mm. Uh, after the game, Josh Jacobs said that this is the first time he can remember a long time where he can go about four or five yards without getting touched. How much pride do you take in that state? Uh, yeah, it definitely feels good. Uh, we put a lot of weight on the offense line. Uh, obviously, the dream and goal of offense line is to be able to run the ball. And so for us, uh, especially having some success with that, it definitely feels good and we uh, love to have opportunity for uh, our running backs to be able to make plays like that. It feels good to be able to uh, hold your box up for a second and then you see just black lightning. He's just running right by. And so uh, for me, it definitely feels good. Uh, and we just continue to hopefully have success with that. There's kind of been uh, talk around the locker room with Halloween coming up. Uh, this is day for candy corn. Uh, personally, what's your what's your thoughts on candy corn? What's your favorite Halloween candy? Uh, candy corn? I don't think I've ever gotten into it. I tried it like seven or eight years old, and it made me literally throw up. Like it was, it's awful. So I, I haven't tried. I haven't gotten into it since then. So, uh, but my favorite Halloween candy is uh, either Reese's or the Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Like fire, both of them. And I was like, I can always go get some. Like whenever I'm at the store, I might just grab one of them just in, just in a minute, just because I don't really eat candy like that. When I do get the opportunity, it's either the Hershey's Cookies and Cream or the Reese's. Fire. First off this season, uh, the Raiders have allowed the third fewest rushing yards in the NFL. How much pride do you guys take in stopping the run first? Mm -hmm. uh, we take a lot of pride in that. Um, you know, everything starts with the run. Um, you know, uh, when you shut down the run, you make offenses one dimensional. And, uh, you know, when you can stop the run, I, I feel like that uh, shows how tough you are as a defense. So, um, you know, every every time we go out there, that's our main focus is making sure we stopping the run and we doing our part up front. What are a couple of things that if you can just kind of put a put a finger on it, what are some things that you think have helped in terms of progressing as a run defensive team? Um, just the willingness of guys just like uh trying to get better. Uh, you know, everybody paying attention to the details, um, coming out day after day, uh, you know, wanting to get better. Um, and then also the chemistry that we build in with each other, um, you know, just uh, getting them reps with each other, spending time with each other. I think all that helps. When you're uh, watching film, or I'm not mm -hmm. sure if you've gone up against them before, but when you watch Alvin Kamara, what are some things that stand out to you? Um, the versatility. You know, he's, he's an all-around back. He can run the ball. He can catch it. Um, he put the defense in tough positions. Everyone's at the point of attack. You know, you're a very good football player. And with this team coming off a win against Houston, you guys did really well against the run in the second half. You've done pretty well in the second half for most of these games. Uh, what is the, the feel in the defensive line unit just as the team's training up? Uh, just continuing to grow. Um, you know, we know where, where we want to be, but, you know, our, our goal is every day we come in to keep on making progress to where we want to be at. So, um, you know, that's, that's the biggest thing for us, uh, just continuing to get better and better each day and uh, not taking a day off and, and getting better. And obviously, you know, game in New Orleans, uh, Halloween weekend. Uh, I'm not sure how big you are in Halloween. <laughs> Do you have a, a favorite or best costume of yours? Honestly, I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't really care too much for Halloween. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why. I never really did. But uh, nah, man, I'm just focused on this game for real. That's all I'm worried about.